Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. So I am today filming a why in a day video and I wanted to do this because I haven't actually done one in like a couple of months. I've recently started Alexandra's happy body plan and I just thought what a perfect like time to show you like what that plan's all about in like what I eat in a day. So I don't necessarily 100% follow all of the recipes that's on that plan but I do mix and match throughout the week. Wait there a second. On a Sunday I do plan out what I eat in the week. Like I literally have a whole plan of what I have. I probably pick about three meals off of the whole thing. I think I will show you this plan in a separate video so I'll show you like what I eat in a week in terms of like I'll show you the plan what's written down and then I will show you the clips of the meals but it won't be like a in-depth kind of talkative discussion video whereas this one's going to be a little bit more chatty about the meals I'm um, sorry if it is really chatty by the way I have everything obviously planned out and today my breakfast isn't off of the menu with the plan you can either choose what's on the menu and have that or you can make your own stuff as long as it's sort of within the calories that they suggest in the day but the lunch time is off the menu it's going to be tuna pasta i don't necessarily follow exactly the amounts that they state because i kind of sometimes have to have a little bit less if i want to eat something a bit more later on or something like that like i kind of mix it and match and i know some people get triggered with the discussion of calories and the discussion of counting calories and if that's you then please don't watch this video because i really love it and it actually makes me eat more like the range of foods than i used to and i really like that fact i'm just going to talk you through like a whole day of eating i do plan things out i do have an excel spreadsheet <laughs> And I know I sound a little bit crazy here, but I love organisation. I love things to be organised, hence the plan. I don't plan it out for any other reason than the fact that I love to do it. Like, I, if I was a lazy person, I would never do this. I just love to plan things out and, you know, have everything ready and organised. And I do do an Excel spreadsheet and the night before, like the next day, so last night, I planned exactly what I'm going to be eating, breakfast, lunch, tea and snacks. And I do that because then I know like what I can have for snacks and I just know exactly what I can have through the day. And if I happen to eat something, so for example, somebody offers me a biscuit and I think, do you know what? I actually fancy a biscuit. I can think, okay, later on, what can I substitute? Or maybe later on, I won't have the Skittles that I allowed myself to have. Do you know what I mean? I tend to have my treats later on in the day anyway. The plan is not about like restricting yourself. It is about having a little bit of everything having that balance and that's what i like about this plan is that it's all about balance and i do allow myself treats through the day that's what keeps me going i do often allow myself a little cheat day but when i have a cheat day i'm not gonna completely like blow it out and just have like everything i see in sight it's just a nice little treat and then we carry on with the plan again because it is a lifestyle it's not some kind of quick fix diet like you do this you have lower calories to lose weight once you hit your goal you then up your calories slightly to maintain that weight you don't just go back to how you was eating before i really love this but anyway without rambling anymore let's get into the video okay so i literally just woken up like this is exactly what i look like when i wake up and I'm gonna make my breakfast. If you can hear a beeping sound, it is our like fire alarm battery. But my dad said it's not the actual battery, it's the backup battery. So we don't need to get concerned, but it does beep. So that's what you can hear. Right, so for breakfast, I actually really like what I'm gonna have today and I don't have it every day. So I literally just grab a bowl. I obviously mix and match my breakfast every single day, but today's is a good one for me. So I'm gonna have some oats. I literally bought these yesterday because I ran out. Like it's a massive bag that I ran out. I'm gonna get 30 grams of oats. I've got my little scales down here that I weigh them on. I weigh everything out. So if you get annoyed by me weighing stuff out, then just don't watch the video. These are my scales. Put on the bowl, set it to zero and then oh for goodness sake i always do that when i'm filming spill stuff Dry, tidy that up later so yeah i just wait until it gets to 30 grams there we go and now i'm gonna add some milk so i zero it again and then i'm just gonna add some semi-skimmed milk in it 
but if you like vegan or something just you know use almond milk or something and i just kind of i don't know how much i put in so i don't usually weigh it that much but i kind of roughly do so i'll put in about 70 let's say just to have a number and now i'm going to go in the freezer and i'm going to get my frozen fruit out oh yeah i've got washing to do so the frozen fruit that i use is this from lidl don't fall out don't fall out Yeah, this is my frozen fruit, summer fruits, and it says great for smoothies and things, but I use it in my porridge. So again, I also weigh this out. It is frozen, but I'm gonna put it in the microwave, so it's gonna unfreeze. <laughs> it's not gonna be frozen when I eat it, because I would not like that. So I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit more, and then I'm gonna put that now in the microwave for about one and a half minutes. I'm kind of half trying to stir it, but yeah. Right, in the microwave for one whole minute. I quite like my porridge, or not porridge, but I quite like this that I'm doing to be quite stodgy. So it, in my eyes, it doesn't taste like porridge. It tastes like rhubarb crumble i don't know if i'm making any sense but i really like it i also add some cinnamon so just to give it like i don't know a bit of flavor so i add some ground cinnamon and i also add a tiny little bit of peanut butter i know that peanut butter is obviously quite high in calorie and high in fat but that doesn't mean that you can't like eat it at all just don't eat too much of it and this one is not a good one like ideally i would like to have had a slightly healthier one but in Lidl, I couldn't find the healthy ones that particular day, so I had to get just this one, crunchy peanut butter. And I have about 10 grams of this, and it just adds a nice flavour to it. But anyway, whilst that is in the microwave for like another 30 seconds, I'm going to put the kettle on and I'm going to make myself a tea. I'm just going to ask Jamie if he wants the tea. Jamie, do you want a tea? He said, yeah. I either have a tea or a coffee. Most of the time I will have a tea because coffee does give me a little headache and also a lot of people say that it makes their anxiety worse and I do not want that so I try and avoid it a little bit but sometimes I just need some energy just sometimes so I'm gonna put that on I'm gonna now see how my porridge slash thing is doing in the microwave right so when it gets out it looks like that and then you start mixing it around and it looks nice you'll see what i mean in a second like some people would hate this but i just really love it oh yeah also i do add a little teaspoon of sugar in as well i forgot to mention that um just because like the fruit can be quite sour so i just like to make sure it's not too sour so where's the sugar there it is so a teaspoon of sugar and a little bit of cinnamon I'm going to add in there. I then put it back in the microwave for another like 30 seconds to a minute. So I just got this back out of the microwave. I give it another little mix around. And then now I'm going to add in the peanut butter. Now I have to weigh this out, otherwise I get confused. So, I don't always weigh everything, by the way. Just most things. Because I just like to know what the heck I'm doing. Right, I'm going to put you somewhere. I'm going to put you here. Now I weigh out about 10 grams. So on here it says 15 grams, and then I weigh out about 10 grams. It just means that, you know, it's easier to track everything. So it's not too much, it's just basically there for flavour. Right, and then I basically just let that melt a little bit before I mix it in, whilst I do the teas. We have, or this is what I have probably, I would say like two or three times a week. It is like one of my favourite things to have. It doesn't look very appetising. I actually think that does actually look like mints like minced beef but it isn't so yeah i've got my tea and got my thing so that's what i have today and then i'll show you my breakfast 
after this. No, I just did that. Show you my lunch after this. Okay, so I've just done my makeup. I haven't done my lipstick yet, but I'm gonna. And I am actually going to uni today, so I am kind of showing you what I eat in a uni day. That seems like a viable title I could call this video. Um, I'm looking for pasta, right. So I am gonna be taking it with me. So I'm gonna be putting it into a red container with a lid. I tend to either take with me a salad if I'm going to uni or pasta because then I can prepare it in advance, take it with me and I can eat it cold because I can't take anything hot or I'm not gonna anyway. So I'm gonna grab a pan, I'm gonna cook my pasta. Now I'm in at uni at 11. Okay, we're all good. Um, I'm in at uni at 11 today, so I have time this morning to make my pasta, but I am aware that some people probably won't have the time to do that, so therefore you would do that the night before. You always have time. Don't complain about not having time. Pasta takes seconds to put in the pan and it just leave it to cook on its own and give it the odd stir. Like it's not something that takes a long time. So I'm gonna weigh out my pasta again, as usual. I literally just pop my pan on here, zero it, and I've just got this from Lidl, this Fusely pasta. I'm gonna take with me, I think I'm gonna do 60 grams because when I'm at uni, I don't get that hungry or I'm really busy and I don't know, I just don't feel like that hungry at uni. So I tend to just do 60 grams instead of like the recommended amount, which is 70 five grams but I would do that like in an evening I would have 75 grams instead I'll just pop you there so what I'm going to do is boil the kettle and then I will tip that over my pasta that is now in my pan also slight tip here I would recommend sorry about the kettle noise I would recommend adding a little bit of salt to the pasta as you cook it just because it gives a little flavour to the pasta as well, like a little salty flavour. I know that this stuff is common knowledge, but just in case you didn't know that. And yeah, so just like half a teaspoon. I cook my pasta for a non-specific amount of time. So each time I cook it, it will be different. Sometimes I'll cook it for like 15 minutes. Sometimes I accidentally leave it on for 25 minutes. And I quite like it when it's cooked for quite a long time anyway. Yeah, I'll just let that boil, because I know it's annoying. So I'm literally just gonna leave that to like cook itself. This is when I will go off, brush my teeth, do my hair, um, finish off my lipstick and all that kind of stuff, just get myself and my things together whilst that is like cooking. But I thought I would show you, I'm gonna be putting some tuna with my pasta. I really like doing that. Like I like the pasta and the tuna combination. When I'm at uni, I can get away with eating like foods that I don't know, like yesterday I literally had like pasta and salad and usually if I was at home I would like something warm and a bit nicer and just a bit more tasty but because I'm at uni and I'm busy I just eat to survive, I don't eat because I have like an enjoyment from it, do you know what I mean? So I just have my pasta, I mix it with some tuna, half a can of this tuna is just from Lidl, so yeah tuna chunk, tuna, tuna chunks in spring water and then I will also mix a little bit of salad cream with that just like a little bit sometimes i do add a tiny bit of cheese on it but i'm not going to do that today i do also have a kit kat so i thought i would just specify that now obviously this plan is about healthy eating it's about like eating good nutritious foods but it's also about balance and i would not be able to get through this plan or you know i wouldn't be able to eat really really healthy if i didn't have the odd treat so i do have a kit kat they are quite good they're 104 calories each bar and i think that's really good for like a sweet treat i do count it into my calories at lunchtime so it will come under like the um 400 calorie mark maybe just a little bit over and i usually eat that mid-morning so because i'm at uni i'm kind of busy i will eat it in between lectures and then when i have my lunch which today will probably be at like one or two no at one o'clock i can then eat my my pasta and i'm also going to take with me a bottle of water and i try and drink that as well so i'm going to leave my pasta to like cook but then i'm going to come back in a little bit add the tuna 
and then mix it all together with some salad cream, put it in here and leave it to cool down for five minutes and then go. Oh, and also throughout the day, I do also have these sugar-free polos. I just bought these from Lidl. Literally, these are what get me through the day. <laughs> so this is how the pasta's looking after about 10, 15 minutes-ish. Um, sometimes I do let it cook a little bit more, but I can't be bothered to wait today. So I'm just gonna empty this out now. I'm gonna drain it with a drainer. It's hard to film this process, so I might just balance you somewhere. So I'm trying to film everything, just in case, you know, somebody moans I haven't filmed anything. So there we are. Here is me emptying the pasta. See, I can't even do this job with two hands, let alone one. Don't fall, don't fall. Please don't fall. Excellent. Right, got my pasta and I'm gonna put it in here. I find it funny how I'm just doing this like over the floor. Like if anything drops, it's just gonna get covered in what's on the floor. Don't worry, I won't eat it. Cause... <laughs> okay, so that's what the pasta looks like. Like to some people that doesn't look like much. Right, I'm literally just gonna spoon half of this tuna into here. Sorry that the lighting's really bad. It's just really bright outside. So I'll now leave that and later on in the week I'm also going to be having tuna because that's what it says on my plan that I've written out. So I'm going to mix the tuna in with the pasta. Salad cream, I'm just going to pop a little bit of salad cream in here. A little bit of flavour because it could potentially be a tiny bit bland. But then again I don't actually care. So that's like what it's looking like. Ah, there we go, auto. I had it on manual focus instead of auto focus. So there we go, yeah, that's what it looks like. Not the most appetizing, but trust me, I really like that. Oh, I need to remember a fork. Yesterday I forgot to take a fork with me to uni, so I had to go and find a fake one. Well, not a fake one, a plastic one. So yeah, just gonna put this away. I think one day I might do like a what's in my fridge. Um, I know that some people won't be interested, but some people might be, so, you know, the 1% of viewers might be interested in that so if i basically show you this this is basically my lunch like in one picture so sorry there's an oat there from earlier um so yeah tuna pasta with a little bit of salad cream and a kit kat so some people might think oh that's not that much but i'm at uni i'm busy i need to eat something quick so yeah there we go and also water bottle of water hello i'm back from uni my hair is all wet Sorry, I'm just coming through to the bathroom to close the window because it's cold. But I'm gonna make myself a snack. It's like quarter past four or something. I did have a little glass of Diet Coke when I got back just because I fancied something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a little plate and I like to have a little snack when I get back just to like give me some energy before I do my workout for the day. Um, so I'll just shove you in the cupboard that's you know a normal thing to do and I have half of one of these now the plan would recommend usually like brown pita bread and I'm fine with brown bread and stuff but I just picked the white one up really sorry that the lighting kept changing it's because it's bright outside I'll move you in a minute so I do just take half of one of these I don't have a whole one because that's a lot of calories and I don't need like two too too much energy so yeah just half a pit of bread and i put that back on my scales again because i'm about to weigh out some more peanut butter i don't usually have a lot of peanut butter but it does look like i do but i have another 10 grams of it basically um on here just to give me a little bit of energy because i do need it when i get back so i'm just gonna get some of this and try and measure out like 10 grams. So that is what it's looking like. I'm gonna spread it out and then we're done. So this is my afternoon snack, half a pit of bread and 10 grams of peanut butter. So I'll probably eat that and usually I'll have a cup of tea, but I'll have a cup of tea. Actually, maybe I will make a cup of tea because I'm about to go out for a little walk. So I might take one in my flask, but I'll have a tea and then I'll leave it about an hour, do my workout and 
it's 20 minutes i won't show you my workout in this video because i'm gonna do a whole separate video on that i won't be filming me doing the entire like workout videos because i'm sure that would be like copyright of the plan or something but i will show like little clips here or there of me throughout a week or so or whatever i don't know but i'm not going to show that in this video because this is what i eat in a day um and then i have my tea like half an hour after doing a workout because i'm just really hungry so yeah i do have my evening meal though at like half past seven because i like to leave it as late as possible to stop myself from snacking in the evening even though i do still snack in the evening because i do allow that in my calories but it stops me from being really snacky hi it's me again i'm just making myself a cup of tea i wasn't going to show you this but i thought i best do oh oh yeah um i've got my flask i'm gonna go for a walk i'm making myself a tea and because i did my excel spreadsheet last night planning out my meal today i know that my meal tonight is not going to be that many calories so i can afford to have one of these with my tea when i'm out this is a fiber one um lemon drizzle square these are amazing like these are my new favorite thing i bought two whole like boxes of them up there because they were on offer so i was like i need some of them i nearly bought three but i thought you know what steady on um so they are very good they do like the fiber one chocolate brownie ones as well they're really good too but the lemon ones are definitely my favorite so i'll probably have one of those now and i might even have one of them later on i always try and like get to 1400 calories oh yeah did i say at the beginning that that's what i eat i eat 1400 calories so yeah my tea is going to be quite like low so i thought i could have that okay so funny story went for a walk who forgot to take their tea with them so i remembered my fiber one brownie of course i did of course i did but i forgot my cup of tea so let's see how hot this has stayed it's been like two hours i've actually come back and i've done a workout not bad not bad yeah i'm gonna carry on drinking that right so i'm now gonna be making my dinner my evening meal i just turned this light light on up there um so this is what i'm gonna be kind of making this is one of the recipes on there i'm sure i can show it because you know it's just one of the recipes it's roasted courgettes with buffalo mozzarella and pesto now i'm the kind of person where i'll look at a recipe on here and i will mix and match things and switch things out and you know change it up to what i want that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to follow the exact instructions it's just that if you're not like you know if you want to stick to it you can stick to it you don't have to so i've got my two courgettes this is quite a low calorie meal that's actually in the lunch section of the plan um but like i said i just i don't know it for me it's not like amazingly filling but then it's not not filling do you know what i mean like it's quite filling for the calories so it's two whole courgettes and i'm gonna slice them in half and then like lay them in here put like tomato sauce over them i've just bought this tomato pasta sauce from lidl it's got onion and garlic and this tastes amazing like it's so good it does recommend to use tinned tomatoes but that doesn't have the flavor in it whereas i like to have this because it adds a little bit of flavor it does also say to chop up an onion and oh i can sit you there um it does also say to chop up an onion and some garlic and stuff but i don't have an onion because i ran out and i can't be bothered to chop garlic so it's just kind of like an easy little thing to do so i'm just going to chop them up and i'm going to just roast them in the oven with the tomato-y stuff on them and i'm not sure how long they're going to take to cook because it does say on there to grill these for um like 10 minutes or something um i don't know just to grill them first but i'm not going to do that because last time i tried to do it and i don't think i can figure out how to work the grill because it didn't do anything like it just warmed them up a little bit so yeah i'm gonna chop my courgettes in half and i'll probably speed through the process of me making this just so that this video isn't concerningly long now i'm gonna add on a bit of mozzarella this is from lidl and it's just what it says a mozzarella so it says one serving 30 grams is 71 calories so that's okay so i'm only gonna put a little bit of this on because i'm actually gonna put a different cheese on as well because i really like this other cheese so i just put a bit of mozzarella on 
um because it does say half of one of these but yeah i think that's where the calories come into it because it says half of one of these but actually i think that's quite a lot so i'm just not going to do that i'm just going to section a little bit off and weigh it and then i'll try and chop it up quite thin so that i'm able to like pop it around and on little places around and about I'm now going to use some of this cheese here. This is vintage cheese. I really, really like this. It's got a very strong flavour, so you don't have to use that much of it, which is why I like it. And I always grate cheese. It's my little gre grease cheese grating pot. I always have to weigh cheese out as well, because obviously it's quite high calorie for sh small amounts, so I always have to weigh it just to be sure. I just did about 15 grams of that. Oh, by the way, I used 24 grams of mozzarella as well, if you were wondering. And then we're just going to sprinkle over slightly. It's just a slight hint of flavour. So that's what that looks like. And that is it done. I am going to put it in the oven and I don't know how long I'm going to cook it for. I think I'm going to cook it for like probably um, like 20 minutes. Check on it. Have a little poke and see how it's doing. Um, but yeah so i'll put it in at the bottom because i've got to put jamie's in on the top so yeah there we go in he goes and we'll show you when he comes out it's done it's come out of the oven i'm not entirely sure if it's 100 percent cooked but it'll be fine i've had this before now it does look like a lot but then it's just literally a courgette so that's why it's quite low calorie um some people might think this is not very appetizing but to me it's just food and I'm just going to eat it. And also, I've got these to look forward to after. But I will show you these in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this now. And uh, yeah, it's not one of my favourite meals. But it's just a nice one to have. So I can have some extra snacks. And then tomorrow it will be a lot more calories. So I have to have less snacks. Okay, so sorry about the poor quality. I'll try and put it under a light. Yeah, here we go. So I've got six of those like little chocolates so they are only little um that i showed you earlier they're like smarties white chocolate they're new i'll try and show you the packet in a second and then 13 skittles i've worked out the whole calories of this so this is like a little treat and then later on i am gonna have an alpro chocolate yogurt and that will still be within my calories um but yeah so i'll go and show you the packet quickly i just like to kind of break up my snacks for the day so that i feel like i'm getting a treat throughout the day but yeah these are those they are new and jamie said they taste really nice so i have to give them a go but yeah so oh actually i will tell you the last thing i'm gonna eat today i won't show you it just yet because i do want to edit this video now but i'll show you what i'm gonna be eating later on it's 83 calories and it feels like a nice treat i personally think it's one of these alpro silky smooth low fat chocolate like yogurt dessert things they're actually quite big like for what they are they're quite big and for 83 calories that's fine so i tend to have that like as a little treat in the evening like if i'm a little bit hungry because sometimes like before bed i just feel like a, i want something else so i'll be like oh i'll have that then um later on so i like to save some calories for that but yeah i'm gonna eat this now and i'm gonna watch emma's rectangle on youtube love her channel at the minute but yeah thank you for watching this video this is the end of my what i eat in a day video and hopefully i filmed everything and shown everything i will be definitely doing more of these in the future so please subscribe to see more what i eat in a days and week's worth of breakfast week worth of lunches um week worth of meals just good ideas um so yeah and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe and i will see you in my next video goodbye oh and by the way i just wanted to say that that tea that i had the dinner with the courgettes actually tasted so good like considering it's literally just courgettes some tomato sauce pasta thing from um Lidl and some cheese it tasted so good I would highly recommend that because it's really low in calorie so yeah 10 out of 10 for me with that one I have had it before but it, I didn't use the Lidl pasta sauce and obviously that's got garlic and onion in it so that's why it tasted really nice so yeah highly recommend